Russia has developed a vaccine and taken it through early clinical development, but is now going to administer this to the general population before they have phase three clinical data on safety and efficacy, and also be administering it to their military. I thought that there was likely a danger in doing this before we know how safe and effective this vaccine is, because right now we're engaged in a global race to develop a vaccine as quick as possible. And we have to worry not only about making a safe and effective vaccine, but creating confidence in the public so that they desire to actually take this vaccine. And if something were to go wrong, that's going to set us all back. So we wanna be very careful about how, how we do this. So if something happens in this Russian experience in terms of a new safety signal, or maybe it doesn't show to be as effective as possible, that's going to color all of the other vaccines and make the, the public health messaging much harder. We wanna make sure that the people that are getting vaccinated are aware of the risks and the benefits that might accrue from taking this vaccine, that they, these are truly informed individuals who are volunteering for the vaccine. There's been very little data and evidence published on this vaccine. We know that it's similar to the vaccine that's being used by AstraZeneca and the vaccine being used by CanSinoBio, a Chinese company. So in that sense, it's, it's got some uh, basis in, 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 in biology to, to have an effect. But we wanna know what is the dosing regimen? How frequently are they giving the doses? What types of studies are going to be ongoing in this patient population that they're going to be giving it to in the general public? Are they going to follow the vaccine recipients and for how long are they going to follow them? All of that's really important to know. And we want all of this to be published in peer reviewed medical literature so that we can actually adjudicate it and look at it and, and, and pick it apart.